Now I've already made my own homemade shower cleaners, but they don't tackle this black mold that I've got in my grout lines. I've seen a couple of hacks on YouTube for doing this and they all use baking soda. However, I'm gonna do this with a little bit of a twist that's gonna make it a little bit more potent and a bit quicker too. My big thing is, even though I own multiple cleaning businesses, I only like cleaning when I'm getting paid to do it. This is my own home, I'm not getting paid to do it, so whilst it needs to be done, I wanna get it done quickly. Now you can use baking soda to do this, or you can go and buy washing soda, but believe it or not, you can actually make washing soda from baking soda, and I'm gonna link that video at the end of this one. The reason I'm opting for washing soda over baking soda, funnily enough, it's for washing things, but washing soda has a pH of about 11.5, baking soda has a pH of about 8.5, so the alkalinity means that it's got a lot more grease cutting and cleaning punch. So overall, this is a better option. I'm gonna put about, I'd say, two tablespoons, not even, I'm gonna put about one tablespoon of my washing soda into some sort of container. And to that, I'm gonna add enough bleach to make a paste. You don't need loads. I'd advise opening the windows, but the reason I'm making a paste out of this rather than, it's mixing up really nicely actually. The reason I'm making a paste out of this rather than dissolving it all and putting it into a spray bottle is, I really don't wanna make bleach airborne in my bathroom. Uh, I rather would just apply it directly to the grout that I wanted to work on. There is only five or six grout lines in here that I needed to do the work on. Anyway, so, okay. I'm gonna work on this stuff later in a different video. Um, this is quite bad. This is actually, the tile has been fitted for about 20 years. It's a travertine, and this has all opened up. The pores have all opened up and it's been eaten away over time. You can see that it actually has been bleached before, um, but I'm gonna do a different method for this in a different video. So, okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of my paste and just gently work it into my grout line. Actually, you can pretty much see that that's working straight away. Again, I want to get enough onto this so that it's wet, but not dripping down the walls everywhere on me wet. Scoop up the excess. Smell isn't actually too bad, because again, I'm only using a very small bit of bleach and I'm using it in a very controlled way. I have seen tutorials where people are getting the bottle of bleach and putting the spout of it on the grout line here and rubbing it all the way down. I really don't want to be using more than about five mils of bleach in total, um, cause I hate the smell. Just try a little bit down here too. So I'm gonna leave this to dwell for about 15, 20 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and rinse it off. So about 20 minutes later, and you can see that the mold is gone, which is great, but it's still a bit wet because the bleach and washing soda concoction is in the grout line. So I'm gonna set up my shower, rinse it off, and then see what we're left to deal with. <laughs> 20 minutes work, no scrubbing, and the grout is both clean and free of mold. If you want to know how to make your own washing soda using baking soda, click on the video appearing on the screen now.